attacks are on the way, warns Nigeria's Boko Haram after a wave of bombings and shootings. It's at least 69 dead, although some reports put the number at about 150 and scores more injured as Nigeria saw one of its worst days of violence in two years. A suicide car bomber detonated his explosives outside a major church in Jos on Sunday, killing three people and wounding 38 others in the central Nigerian city. At least 63 people are thought to have been killed and maybe 100 injured in a series of unprecedented coordinated attacks in the northeast region of Nigeria by Islamic militant group Boko Haram. It is so sad to see our great country fallen by the act of terrorism. I have to see with my eyes the pain and havoc caused by the bombings. And I sympathize with the citizens who have been affected by these killings. The federal government has made it a priority to increase the level of security in the states which are being attacked by the terrorists known as the Boko Haram. I have called on a state of emergency to protect innocent citizens who live in these cities. Our country will not be divided. It is our duty as a government to protect our people and bring peace to the country. One Nigeria. What? Dead. My family is dead. My family is dead too. People keep sitting and keep watching us as we die in numbers in the newspapers. The president keeps talking, sympathizing with us. Halima. Our lives are over. Halima. My family is dead. Halima. My school is gone. Halima. We need help. 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 Help